In this video, I'm going to show you how I would do an ambient occlusion uh, clay render of uh, these two items that I modeled recently. So I've got the sci-fi air vent that I've copied into this uh, project, and I've got this uh, wall-mounted uh, computer console. Okay, now, to do this, I'm just going to make a simple, um, I don't know, simple floor sort of thing. Some kind of simple floor, a little base of some sort. Let's see. I want something to hold the wall. You'll see what I'm getting at in a second. Nothing, nothing too exciting here. Just something. Maybe we'll take uh, this edge and this edge and control B and do that. I don't know. Let's grab that and control L modifiers. Okay. And then here, what we'll do, I'll just borrow that piece and bring it up, break it out. And you're going to form the basis of the wall. Maybe I'll make you thinner. <laughs> Let's bring some lights in here. Okay, so far so good. Let's bring in a camera. Control Alt uh, Zero. going to click on this in fact actually I think I'm going to take the lights and all of this stuff and let's right click move to collection start a new collection and I'll just call it, I don't know, stuff doesn't matter really lights whatever lights and everything else all right so I could come down here and hide that and nothing would be in the way I'm going to take the camera as well I'm going to move to that so I can easily do that okay yeah okay so the materials okay so to make this work um, to do the ambient occlusion stuff 
I need to come over here and I need to click on ambient occlusion and I can adjust this maybe I want it 0 0.4 so I want that on now I'm going to want screen space reflections on and I'm going to click on ambient occlusion actually let me come in here to the materials in fact I want everything the same material so I'm going to select everything and then I'm going to select this I go control L materials so every all these objects have that, that same material there okay shift a input ambient occlusion put that down okay now um i can just plug the ambient occlusion into the base color but i'm not going to do it that way i'm going to bring in a converter color ramp and take the ambient occlusion plug it into the factor and then the color into the base color and already something starts to happen okay you can start to see this now let's bring in this stuff okay so you can see uh, some shadows in there now if I drag this up it can get quite dark as you can see so you can decide where you where you want this to be to control that Okay, let's save that. I'm going to go back to layout. I'm going to look through the camera. And I'm going to come over. I'm going to change my render to, let's, let's just make it 200 for now. And I'll make this 75 so it's not too, too big. And let's just uh, have a look. Now, this stuff... I see I don't have the material on. I'm going to put that same material on everything. Okay, there we go. Save that. Let's see that F12. And I get that. Let's go back into shading. Into the world. And I'm going to change the background to black. Let's go back to layout. And look through the camera. I'm going to press the home button again. And I might do something like this. Oh, let's uh, and I might knock this down a little bit to there. And this one. see this is relatively against the wall with some nice uh, shadowing that may be a little bit too much ambient occlusion um, so we can come back into here just choose the object make sure we switch back to object and we can turn it back if we want you can also change the color of it which is kind of cool you can make it red if you wanted to just accentuate that you can see the red there I can pull this in to lighten it or I can just crank this way up if that's the kind of look you like let's try an F12 just to see it all right so that's not really the effect I'm gonna go for though so I'm just gonna leave this as black or somewhat black So if you don't feel like texturing this in any great detail, you just want to you just want to see it uh, like this. It's, it's one way of doing that. So what I might do is go ahead and model some other items and then bring them into into a bit of a scene and uh, and do a nice ambient occlusion um, render for the whole thing. OK, so hopefully that's uh, helpful to you or, or interesting. Just uh, this setup. One other thing, by the way, I could be doing is I could be bringing the roughness up. Okay, now if you bring it down, you can get some interesting effects too. Let's try a render just to see if we think it looks any good. I don't know that it will. 
you know, it's a little bit shinier depending on where you put your lights. But generally, I would have the roughness up uh, pretty close to all the way. Yeah. There you go. Cool. Okay. See you next time.